Kate Middleton's cancer diagnosis and treatment. Why did the palace say it was non-cancerous initially? I've got no interest in speculating what type of cancer or anything like that. I'm just interested in the words used because words are important. Sometimes things which are thought to be non-cancerous turn out to be cancer. Sometimes it's hard to make a cancer diagnosis even during surgery. And that's why you need proof from a tissue sample, either by doing a biopsy, taking a specimen during surgery, or a blood test, which can all then be analyzed under a microscope. Sometimes surgery for benign conditions can end up having nasty surprises. For example, a small number of appendicectomy specimens end up containing tumors when analyzed post-operatively. And the same thing goes for colon surgery for inflammatory bowel disease. A small number of them may end up picking up a bowel cancer in the specimen. Even once a cancer is determined under a microscope, you still need to test it more. What type of cancer it is, what are the genetics of the cancer, what type of receptors it has. For example, in the case of breast cancer, is it estrogen receptor positive, progesterone receptors, Herceptin receptors? All of these factors help to determine the type of treatment you'll give. And then what is preventative chemotherapy? In the medical world, it's just called adjuvant chemotherapy. And the reason for giving it is because even if a surgeon and got it all, microscopic residue can remain. And those cells left behind can grow and cancer can come back. Adjuvant chemotherapy is given due to the perceived risk of future cancer rather than obviously visibly remaining cancer. Deciding to give it is one of the hardest decisions in medicine. It's sort of like the trolley problem, but for cancer. How can you do the least amount of harm while still giving the maximum benefits?